Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> Quick update. It's gonna be the Q and A primary video. Quick update on the games. You know, traps are coming in. Delts are actually coming in. I started overtraining delts. Uh, that they're the ones once again overtraining, right? I, I should give this whole shit a name, right? So people don't keep confusing it. I'm trying to bring up my real delts. I made a video explaining to you guys that real dust is actually what gives you that 3D look, believe it or not. Found it by pure accident and it's actually working. So I'm trying to get in a good good shot. You see that right there? See that right there. See that? Right. See that real dust? I mean see that see how my side there looks like it's popping out? I stopped hitting side dust, guys. I'm actually focused on the real dust now. And I'm doing a lot of real dust movements, over training the fuck out of my real dust. And once again, I'm going to do that for about four weeks or so, then back off, um, and then go back to normal training and see see what, see how many nuclei I was able to accumulate in the muscle. And what do I do? Pretty much, I do uh, one-arm cable. I'm going to try to make a video next time I go to the gym, try to show you guys. I do a lot of one-arm cable, rear laterals, um, just so I can focus on, you know, each muscle at a time. I do behind the neck press every morning. Yeah, that hits a little bit of my side. Actually, not a little bit. That's a lot of my side delts. But pretty much, I'm constantly stimulating my my real delts and my side delts to some extent. Constantly. Until I can finally, finally see a little. See, it's right there. I could never see this shit, man. See, that little nice cap is starting to come out. So, once again, I'm only in week three of doing this. So, we'll see how it goes. As far as chest, chest was what I was overtraining um, two months ago. I'm gonna make a list on you guys what I'm working on. But anyway, um, Q and A primer. Comment below. Once again, put a video question for every comment. If you're not asking a question it, that, that you don't want featured in the Q and A, don't comment on here. Comment on the Facebook fan page. But if you want a question answered in the Q and A, go in the comment section, type video question, big caps, and then put your question. Keep it short. Keep it simple. And I'm gonna do a quick Q and A probably today. You know, same time you're watching the video. And try to go down and answer them in like one one to three sentences, right? Nah, that's not gonna happen. I talk too fucking much. I'm gonna try to answer them as fast as possible. And um, it's gonna be like a Q and A marathon, real quick, because I'm really behind on answering questions. You know, we'll see my busy schedule. But uh, so yeah, comment below. And um, shirts are in, guys. Shirts are finally in. Uh, once again, big shout out to Volan. Uh, I'm gonna put his uh, his info always in the description anyway for working on the badass Team 3D logo. He's the same one who did the, the the Game of Thrones Team 3D Alpha Throne that represents the the message of the channel, you know, which is for everybody to find their throne and sit on it. You know, your throne obviously being your competitive advantage, whatever you're good at, your your art, your craft. But anyway, so big shout out to him. Big shout out to all the guys who worked on the logos. The logos are still here. I'm gonna implement them into T-shirts, videos, pictures, and things like that. I'm not I'm not filtering out any any bad logos, right? Everyone that put work into it is going to have his logo used somehow. But as for now, Volan's logo is officially the winner. Obviously, his logos are still coming in. Um, so I'm going to incorporate them uh, into the next shirts. But go out there and get your as a matter of fact. Let me show you guys. Hold on. Let me show you guys the alphaness. Look at this. Team 3D Alpha. Dominance, Discipline, Direction. You already know it. Look how badass this logo is. You got the line pulse swipe right here, which signifies. Can y'all hear me? You got the line pulse swipe right here. See the line pull? Which obviously signifies pain, damage, battle scars. You know, everyone part of Team 3D Alpha has been through some shit. So the only reason why you watch my video. Because people that haven't suffered in life can't understand any of my videos. They can't understand any of the shit I talk about. The people that have been through some shit, that fucks with me. On the back, only the bold, only the strong. You already know the symbol, the animal that represents this channel the most is the bull. Because it's the bold animal, it's a powerful animal, and it's a very, very resilient animal. It never gives up. Even from birth. Only the bold, only the strong. Pretty much all the shirts for this um, this wave of t-shirts are going to have the same logo on the front. Only the back is going to change. This one right here. Bang.
Fortune favors the bold. You already know it, guys. It's all about courage. It's all about risk taking. Take risks. That's how you lose your virginity. That's how you build muscle. That's how you increase your bench press. That's how you increase your squats. That's how you're dominant in life. You gotta take risks. People that stay home in their comfort chairs don't go nowhere. Look at this one. Eco matter just got real. Look at that. Once again, charging bowl. In fact, guys, if you're good at this kind of artwork, like bowls and shit like that, you know, not in detail, just any ox or bowl, send them to me. Send them to me, guys. If you're good at designing your own, I don't want any copyrighted motherfuckers. Send it to me because it's going to help me bring down the cost on these t shirts, man. Because, you know, they ain't low budget t shirts. I'll tell you that, guys, right now. Look at this. Obviously, obviously, you can get them in any color you want. The front is going to have the same logo, only the back is going to change. When you go to the t-shirt store, just select whatever color you want. Order it, and when you do, send me a picture. Send me a picture. If you want to cover your face, that's perfectly fine. Send me a picture of you rocking the shirt. I'm going to add you to the database of all the loyal Team 3D Alpha subscribers. I want to keep your information on hand. I want to be in contact with y'all. In fact, uh, send me not only the picture, but your name. You could you could leave out your last name if you want to you know stay private or give me your nickname or whatever. I just need a way to, to to fucking call your ass. Your name, your location, and let me see. I wrote that shit down. I wrote that shit down. Yeah, your name, your location, and your date of birth. Right, that's all I need. Your date of birth. So I'm obviously I know your age, your birthday, and shit like that. Your location, city, state, country, whatever. I got people from everywhere from. Fucking Iraq to Russia, fucking um, UK, Canada, America, obviously, Africa. So send me your location, your name, your date of birth, and obviously the picture, whether front view, back view, I really don't care. Cover your face if you want. It's up to you. But I want to have you in my database, all my loyal subscribers that have been supporting the channel since day one. Since day one. And obviously, send me the logos of like the ox and both. You know how to design, you know, like axes and bows. Somebody already did one for me. Just keep sending them to me so I can cut down the prices on these shirts. I want to keep them as low budget as possible. All right, guys. Once again, thank you for your patience. You guys waited like three years for these t-shirts. I mean, I, people were asking me since 2011 when I first started. I was like, well, I didn't really believe people was going to buy the shirts. I was like, why y'all niggas really want shirts, man? But, you know, right now the movement is growing. We have 25,000 subscribers, man. And that's not, that's not fucking uh, big channel big, but it's, it's growing. I remember when I was happy when I sold my first... I remember 88 subscribers. When I got to 88 subscribers, it was the best day of my life. Best day of my life. When I got to 100, I could not believe it. And now, 25,000, thanks to the help of you guys, uh, the the ones who are sending me shit, uh, the other big channels, you know, the Twins, Chris Jones, Big J, uh, Matt Ogus, all of you guys. Thanks a lot for your support. Sure saying, go in and buy the whole goddamn store, guys. Remember, dominance, discipline, direction. Dominance, find your competitive advantage. Dominate in all areas of your life, mind, body, and spirit. Discipline. Create the right habits. Make the right decisions. Create your daily routine. Remember, you now your environment. You now your genetics. You the decisions that you make, and that's based on your daily routine, your habits that shape your decision. And last and most importantly, guys, direction. Like I always say, you could be the most dominant motherfucker. You could be the strongest guy. You could be the smartest guy. You could be the best looking car. You got no steering wheel. You're not going anywhere. You're useless. So if you have no direction in life, no mission, no vision, no dream, no goal, no ambition, you're just sitting there wasting oxygen, guys. So take all your dominance, take all your discipline, and aim it in one direction, at one goal, one dream worthy of conquest. And dominate that shit. I'm out of here, guys. Thanks again for your support. Yo, come on, man. <laughs> that's just anyway, a lazy person. I still am. And I believe that lazy people have the most potential out of every human being on the planet. In fact, the reason why we're so lazy is because we just... We, we, believe it or not, even